as the season's final stretch begins, hunters step up the pace. Oh my God! That's a big one for the day. One family competes for bragging rights. I know I got him beat on the first one. Shoot him! New inventions may not work. Man, this oak is too heavy. And some are forced to deal with line invaders. What? Oh, you got a goldfish on it, dude! We're using this joker for bait! Woo oh, chase, 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 chase! Oh, my God! Daylight breaks across the bayou as gator season nears completion. In Point Alahash, three generations of Edgars prepare to launch. Joey has an idea to spur them on and have some fun, too. An old school competition like they had when they were kids. Nephew, when we were small with your daddy, me, and Paul, it was the first, the biggest, and the most. OK. Dad has been playing this game with us since we were little. Whoever caught the first alligator, they win that category. Whoever caught the most alligators, win the second category. And of course, whoever catches the biggest alligator, that's the one that we all want to win. I don't care what kind of tournament or event there is, the biggest always win. In any family, competition is always a healthy thing. It pushes your children or your grandchildren to compete and the reward of winning. Let's see who's going to win this. We're fixing to put it on y'all, nephew. What you said now? We're fixing to put it on y'all. OK, because hey. we're going to come with our share, you know. Because <laughs> we're going to have some bulls. I, I bait it up with some rotten stuff. I know one thing, I'll bait is ripe enough. Get rid of that. I thought that was you. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ready? Alligator season is almost over. We still have tags to fill. Oh, yeah. yeah we'll we're see y'all a little later. Y'all be careful. Yes, sir. Y'all too good luck, Dad. All right. What makes them a tough team to beat is that Daddy's got the know-how and the airboat, and he's got a, a strong young deckhand on the boat with him that's willing to work. And that makes Daddy very, very dangerous. He's going to be competitive and hard to beat. That's a tough team to beat, but I got a good feeling about today, Bubba. Feeling positive, Joey and Zach head to their first line. And it seems Lady Luck is smiling on them already. Cool. We just left the dock. We got an alligator on this line. We hurry up and get him killed, and this will be the first. Look at those bubbles. Let's see what we're working with here, Joe. What it feels like. Fighting the mud, man. At low tide. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. These alligators here are strong. Yeah, I know. Whoa. Come on. Come I'll on, let him pull on. you out the boat. Whoa. Pull in the boat. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, death, death roll. Death roll. Ah. Watch out for the tail. I got you. Give me a shot. Whoa, 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 Whoa! <laughs> he tried to throw me out of the boat, Whoa. huh? Whoa. Good job, Pop. Boom. We left for about five minutes. We'll give him an extra minute I'll just give for him. <laughs> Six minutes. Yeah, 7.30. The run that Dad has, he told me at the ramp he has to run 20 minutes before he gets to his first line. My first line, I only have to run five minutes. So I got the first one. I know I got him beat on the first one. First one's in the boat. 
Now we got to work on the biggest and the most. Twenty-nine miles to the north, just outside Violet, Ronnie Adams and Ashley Deadeye Jones are hunting one of their favorite honey holes, but they find themselves struggling to catch anything. Oh, there's another line, Che. Looks like it might be up, though. Shoot, I don't like it. I don't like it. We're getting close to winter here. I mean, there's no bullshitting around. We got to get it done, baby. They don't like that chicken for some reason. We're back home running lines, and the chicken's just not paying off. I mean, one line after a line is nothing but chicken, just the bait still hanging. The gators didn't even touch it. But I mean, this bait's really got a good odor to it. It's been setting for a day or two, and the alligators ain't biting it. And I think we got one more in this set, huh? It's on to the right. Oh, is it? Yep. Come on, be a big boy on here. Oh, I see the rope right there. It looks like it's limp. Yeah, it's limp, not gnawing it, huh? Oh, Che, 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 get the gun, get the gun, get the gun. Is we that... got one on here, Che. Is that a... Yeah, he's hooked on a jug line in this, dude. Local fishermen hang lines and hooks from floating jugs to catch garfish. Oh, oh. oh, we got a good one, Che. Come on, Che, get the shot on. Oh, yeah, what a good surprise. He's getting ready to pop the line. Look Is he? Yeah, it's free. Kill, 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 kill. Got to get Hold him on. again. Got to get him again. Hold on. Right there, get him, Che. Good job, baby. This dude was already caught on a goldfish line with the jug. Look at the jug. I saw that jug under the water, but I just figured it had oh. sunk. One, two, three. Boy, that's a big one, baby. That's a good nine footer. He's trying to get back in the water. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. He's got a jug line and our line. I've never seen him on jugs like that. Yeah, well, sometimes these goldfish men will set these jugs out. And this dude followed that goldfish and ate that big-ass goldfish and got the hook in him. And he couldn't get off of couldn't it. Couldn't get off of him. I mean, look at the jug. Ugh. See how they they put styrofoam in it? In case yeah. the cap comes out, it's always going to float. Unless there's a big gator pulling it to the right. bottom. That's crazy. I'm telling you, huh? He likes some goldfish. Yep, he likes the goldfish. This nine-foot fighter breaks the dry spell. But Ronnie's still not sure what's going on. He was confident this area would be a slam dunk. I guarantee you that there's alligators everywhere. They just not biting on this chicken. For some reason, the chicken's not on their appetite. Click, click. That's what I'm screaming, girly. All right, my baby, on to the next one. Nine miles south, back in Point Alahash, Daniel and Dorian are blanketing the area with bait, hoping to increase their odds of catching both the biggest and most gators. Got to pick up the pace. We need that 13-footer, Paul. We need the man. Paul, what you think? We get them on the most today? The most means nothing to me. It's the quality you pull out. So the first, they might get us but it's on on the biggest. In this case, the first is not that important. The biggest is going to be the reward. Whoever gets the biggest alligator is going to be the champion. But to catch the biggest alligator, it's a task in itself. I'm going to need a lot of skill, but I'm going to need a little bit of luck today to beat him for the biggest one. Right in that grass. You got it, Paul. I got it. Okay. You 
got some pull. Oh, Paul, you better get your gun. This is a pretty good one. All right, son. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. About to give me a shot. It's a good one. Oh, come on, bring him around. Try to get his head this way. Awesome, Paul. Take care of that business. These small, medium-sized alligators, uh, you're not going to win a competition with that. He ain't the biggest, but he's a tag. Biggest can't be choosers. Joey and Zach, that's some serious competition. Those boys, they are no slouch. If you're going to beat them, you're going to have to work really hard. It's all uphill from here, so let's, uh, let's go try to look for another one, Paul. Hundred and seven miles northwest in Bayou Sorrel, Willie Edwards is anxious to get the day going. And little Willie's brought a surprise he made himself. Got something a little new today. What do you got there, boy? We're gonna try out this full prone hook. Oh my goodness. We're gonna I'm gonna we're gonna see how that works. I mean we got that three prone right there. And that's yeah, big but, hook. That, yeah, but that we, we're just gonna try it out and see how it works. Come out this morning and brought a different kind of hook and everything. I think it'll be a good idea and I think it's a big advantage. You got four hooks instead of three, and you're going to for sure sink probably two hooks in him. It looks like it's got some weight to it. It looks like it That's helped. a little too heavy, but we'll try it, though. How do you, you tell? You ain't even held it. I see it. See how big the shaft is? That's way too heavy. It's going to get hung up more than anything. We'll try it, though. Kind of figured a little anything more hooks on it, it might work a little better. Anything to catch better. For him to bring that hook to the landing and everything and want to try something different, that shows he's wanting to progress and wanting to show effort to it. But when you've been alligator hunting so long and been building hooks and stuff and doing this stuff for years, I mean, you know right off the bat when you look at it, he made the shaft way too big, too much lead in it, and it's way too heavy. And uh, we're going to try it, though. We're going to see how it goes. Get this morning started. Get back there with them big, big ones at him where they got plenty to play with. He wants to stick to his three-prong hook because they've been working out for years. I mean, that's all they've been using and everything, but I'm anxious to use my hook I made and everything and see if it works. See a big one in that bend down this woman. Go catch that. He just went down. He's a big one, too. See it right there? There's some bubbles, big pile of bubbles right here. Get your hook. Grab the full prong. He's right there. Hurry up, hurry up, come on. Throw it, hurry up, throw it out there. Pull it to you, pull it to you. In Bayou Sorrel, Little Willie is trying to snag a giant with his brand new four prong treble hook. Pull it to you, pull it to you. Oh. Man, man, you tore way off of that thing. This hook is too heavy. You gotta hurry. You gotta pick up the pace. We're running out of time. He's going down the bank. He knows what he's doing now, man. Fool with him too much. Yeah, it is. It's him. 100% positive. It's him. Hurry up, come on. What you got there? Oh, oh, that's a big oh, one. Whoa, 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 that's a big one. Watch it, watch it. Don't get too close, boy. Come on, get him up here. You gotta come over his chair. This 11 foot monster is a great catch, but Willie isn't saying I told you so, not just yet. I, I knew that was like that full prong wasn't gonna work, it's way too heavy. 
I'm a little disappointed. I mean, I was counting on myself and everything. I was trying to prove to my dad I had what it takes to build a hook, and it, I failed at it. But you never give up. You keep on trying and make a little adjustment on the full prone and everything, and I'm going to show him what that full prone will do. On to the next one. On to the next one, son. Boy, if you catch them all like that this morning, get that hook back there. Ninety-five miles east, Ronnie and Ashley continue running their chicken-baited lines. But with only two gators in the boat, Ronnie's not sure why the gators aren't biting. Yep, bait hanging. Shoot. The alligators are not biting. I don't know. It just got me thrown for a loop right now. I got something that's obviously got my attention right now, and I got to figure it out. As they reach their next line, Ronnie's relieved to see they may have a gator. Think this line might be down, Che, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Come on, be a big mother humper on here. See it? Nope, not yet. Oh, there it is. It's way out. Please tell me you feel something on it, Heavy. Uh, well? No. Oh, I see. You got, oh, you got a golf fish on it, dude. What? Goldfish wow. jumped out the water and grabbed this line. This line was about two foot out the water. I can't believe this dude done did that. It's an alligator, but it's an alligator gall. Oh, my god. Now what are we going to do? Man, the dude jumped out the water. Remember the jug line? This yeah. is what they catch on them jug lines. And we caught the alligator? Yeah. We got a goldfish on the alligator line now. We're Dang. using this joker for bait. Armed with new knowledge, Ronnie and Ashley rebait lines with garfish. There we go, baby. Slime is a surprise. Oh, I got slime all on my hands, Jay. The alligators, that's all they want to eat is the goldfish. So we got to change strategies right now, and I'm going to goldfish. You got to adjust and adapt and overcome, and that's what we're going to do. You almost got a bunch of goldfish. I'm telling you, you can use it for bait. Hey, if these alligators are eating goldfish, by gosh, I'm going to give them goldfish. That's perfect, baby. Even though you've used chicken all your life, Sometimes these gators won't bite, and you got to pay attention and find out what he's eating on. What he's eating in that area, and that's what you're going to use for the bait. Yeah, get it to me, Jay. I might have to help hold it, because I, I got don't know if you're going to be able to. No, I got him. Cool. Look at that, Jay, huh? Boy, that's some good bait, too, there, Papa, huh? We're going to keep our fingers crossed and see what happens. We caught what they love to eat, and we got it on the line, so hopefully it pays off, babe. Well. Yes, indeed. Back down south in Point Alahash, feeling confident they've won the first gator of the day, Joey and Zach want to sweep the competition. Daddy not playing around, Zach. We got to win it all. I mean, we got two nice gators. But clearly, I don't think they're big enough to take big gator today. Yeah, 10 feet's not doing it. Out no, here. no, no, no. We need we need 11 and a half, 12 foot long. I know I caught the first one because the run that I have is shorter than the run that Dad has. But whoever gets the biggest one, he doesn't hold the title of all three, but that's the most prestigious title, getting the big one. Oh, 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 I think he's on there. Come on. Nice alligator, Zach. You better wake on that Whoa. one. Whoa. Hand burn. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. There you go. That's a nice one. Whoa. Watch yourself. And get you a shot, buddy. Ah. Come on, Zach. In point a la hash, Joey and Zach have an aggressive beast on the line. Come on, Zach. Whoa! We're gonna watch it. Get him up, get him up. Ah. There he is. Good shot. 
He was a monster. He's still a monster. There you go, big man. Come on. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, we catch him, but I think we could do better if we went deeper water. Yeah. If we're going to win this competition against Dad, we need to move into deeper water because big alligators live in deep water. Dorian and, and Daddy, they're coming at us. And my nephew, he's like my brother. He talk a lot of <laughs> Try to get in your head. Three miles to the south, Daniel and Dorian know they have to catch fast and catch a lot. But Daniel wants to make sure his grandson understands that there's only one competition that really matters. Paul? Yes, sir. Size matters. Correct. If it's a fish, a deer, the biggest is what matters. Numbers are OK, but it's always the biggest that matters. All right. Who's got the biggest? That's where the reward goes. It gives you the bragging rights. So one way or another, my plan is to win the biggest alligator of the day. Lines down, Paul. There's an alligator on it. I don't know how big he is. Wait, hold on. Might be a bull. Give me something, Paul. Oh. Come on, Paul. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Come on, John Wayne. Don't let him beat you up. Bring him back over here. Oh, he's gonna break the street. Dead alligator. All right, one, two. Daniel knows this eight-footer helps his numbers for the most gators, but he's focused on winning the biggest gator, and losing is not an option. We're catching some alligators, but my entire life, I've always had a problem with losing. If you learn how to accept failure, you're going to fail. That's not who I am. We are going to have to speed up a little bit. Man, we need some big ones. Back up north, outside Violet, Ronnie and Ashley are running the lines they rebaited with garfish, thinking the gators in the area are feasting on the ancient fish. You come up with a theory in your mind of thinking, what, why are they not eating on the chicken? And uh, I come to the conclusion that it was the garfish. Hey, if these alligators are eating garfish, then that's what you're going to use for the bait. This is one of the ones with the garfish on it, Jay. He liked it because the Ooh, line's yeah, down. Maybe I hope it's a good one, too, babe. Watch that, that grass is beat up there. I don't know if he's on land or whatnot. You got the line? Yep. Where's it going to? Right up under the boat, I oh. think. I don't feel nothing tugging back. Yeah, we got something on here. Get the gun, Che. Oh, yeah, yeah. girl. Yes, indeed, baby. Yes. Cool. Whoa, baby. Oh. Yeah, oh. baby. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Boy, I told you that goldfish bait was going to work. Come on, Che. Come on, Che. Oh, my god, he's bad. Come on, big boy. Oh, he's all wrapped up. He's going to pop the line now, Che. Hold on to him. Come on, big boy. Skater, nasty. I'm trying to pull a skin off my hand. Oh, my God! Outside Violet, Ronnie and Ashley are battling a monster on the rebated garfish line. I'm trying to pull a skin off my hand. Oh, my God! 
Boy, them jaws are snapping, baby. Watch him. I got two lines. I see. These dudes all snaggle, jangled, and mangled. Come on, Chase. He's gonna snap the line. Here we go. Right there. Get it. Come here, big boy. All right, Chang Chang. Look, let's scoot him down, scoot to you a little bit. Yeah. Yep. A little bit more, my baby. Ready? One, two, three. There we go. Oh, look at the size of him, huh? Oh, yeah. One, two, three. There we go. Come on, big boy. He didn't like that. No, because well, he wasn't biting on the chicken. And look, I can't wait to run the rest of these goldfish lines. It's a good sign. Oh, yeah, baby. I can't wait. First line that's baited with goldfish, and lo and behold, I mean, it's a monster. And gosh, it paid off. I'm so stoked. I mean, I'm happy we're catching gators, but I'm really happy because I figured out what they were eating in this area. That golf bait paid off, huh? Yeah, that was definitely worked I'm it. I'm telling you. Back in Point Alahash, Joey and Zach are heading to meet up with Daniel and Dorian to assess the competition halfway through their day. Oh, my god, nephew, what y'all got? Yeah, you're few. doing good, huh? We got a few good ones. Damn, y'all got a couple of good ones, huh? It'd be a tough competition. Man, that's some nice gators. We got our work cut out for us. Looks like you got a boatload already, but we got one pretty quick. But we got some work to do, I see. Let me see what y'all got under that tarp, Uncle Joe. You got one that's good it? one, Dad. Oh, OK. Because so you got uh, a couple good ones in nah. it. We got the day started off. And it's early. Y'all a little heavy. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, nephew, we not heavy. No, not yet. Not yet. Well, it ain't, the we day got, is not we over. We time. going hunting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're still looking it's early. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's early. Oh, yeah. we just come check on y'all. Y'all better work hard. Oh, yeah. There's some oh, yeah. big ones in here. Yeah. Go up that canal. In a lot. Yeah. Wiggle up that area. Yeah. We can see y'all later on. Yeah. Good luck, gentlemen. Yes, you sir. You guys. Joey and Zach know they have to work even harder and faster if they hope to beat Daniel and Dorian. Got some work to do, Pop, huh? Big time. Meanwhile, in Bayou Sorrel, Little Willie wants another chance with his new creation, the four-pronged treble hook. The four-pronged hook, you got more hooks trying to hook him and everything. I think it'll work, but it's just a bad little start. You ain't going to catch nothing like that with that. Lose a big, couple big alligators with that thing. He's still got a lot to learn. And you can tell kids something that goes through one ear and out the other. But until they find out on their own, that's how you be a good alligator, honey. You learn from your mistakes, and you listen to elders that done done it before way longer than you ever have. You got a bull right there in the middle right there swimming across. Come on, hurry up. Get your hooks. As little Willie prepares for battle, he grabs his father's old faithful three-pronged treble hook instead. Way off of him. Way over here. I know. Got him. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, get him up. Oh. Watch it, watch it. Don't get too close, boy. Watch the hooks on the belly. Gotta get it off. Another eight footer is good for the Edwards total. But Willie wants to know which hook his son used. Why you didn't use that hook you brought? I wanted to make sure I caught him. That other hook is just, we gotta, we gotta fix it. As soon as I knew that full prong hook wasn't gonna work and everything, I hung it up and pulled those three prong back out. It does work a lot more than that full prong. That three prong. You can throw it overboard, and nine times out of 10, you got it, if you set the hook right. 107 miles away, Daniel and Dorian have a boat full of gators, but are still searching for a real big one. To catch the biggest alligator, it's never going to be easy. So you have the challenge, and then what comes with that is the glory of having the biggest one of the day. Tie the front of our boat to the tree. Yep.
Get up here, John Wick. Oh, we're gonna have to be careful, Popo. Might be a big bull. Let's see what you have, Paul. Line's tight. Got a lot of gumbo on it. Come on in, slow. Let's just see what we got, Paul. Oh, 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 burn me. Look at the size of that thing. He's a giant. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's hooked in the mouth. Yeah, that's what I said. If he's hooked in the mouth, he might come off. Hold him. Oh. In Point a la Hash, Daniel and Dorian battle a giant killer. Hold him. Oh. Oh. I'm not going to play with him if he's hooked in the mouth. I don't want him to break the rule. He's had. Shoot him. Give me a, give me a shot. One, and then you're gonna two, go. Four. All right, push his one head more, down. One more, one more. That's a good one, Paul. Go right here. Now, that one there might give Uncle Joe a run for his money. <sighs> well, you wanna go that way? Got to. That's a big alligator. Already happy with the number of gators they've caught, this beast gives the team a shot at winning the biggest gator of the day. We're thinking there is no way they're gonna top this. We are feeling pretty good about ourselves right now. We're kind of starting to stick our chests out a little. I think you're starting to put a little pressure on your Uncle Joe right now. Back in Bayou Sorrel, after little Willie's failed experiment making a four-pronged treble hook, Willie's hoping his son will take it as a learning experience. The full prone hook, you got more hooks trying to hook him and everything, but it's just too much heavy. You have to you have to melt all that back down and everything and get you a smaller shaft on it and put less lead in it, make it a little lighter. I will get it right. We're taking uh have to melt it down though, but I had to bring it back home, get the uh, get the ball and uh, the burner and everything and then melt it back down and then report. I learned how to make treble hooks from my dad and uh, he he taught me the first time he taught me, I never forgot it. And we make uh, treble hooks like no other people make them. I mean, we, we do our own little special way. And Willie, he got a little bit to learn on a treble hook. Right out there, right out there, right out there. Throw it, throw it. Throw it. Oh. Get him, get him, get him. Got him in the tip of the tail. Gotta let him down, son. Ready to come up, let him down. I'm letting him down. Come up with him, come up with him. Here, grab the gun. It buried that hook. Get it. That sucker shooting some blood, huh? Talking about. After catching this final eight footer with the Edwards traditional treble hook, Willie's confident that with a little time, his son will master the family tradition. He's paying attention to what I what I tell him and everything, and he's learning from what his mistakes and everything. And I'm proud of him. He is putting his head in the game and he he wants to do it. Got a few. I think I'm gonna keep working on it and everything. And if you want to be successful, you gotta put your mind to it. You gotta, you gotta listen to the feedback and everything. See what he can teach me and see what I can learn. 104 miles southeast, Joey and Zach have moved into the deeper waters of Point Alahash, hoping to capture a massive Goliath that'll win them the biggest gator of the day. God. Surprise, surprise, <laughs> surprise. This deep water holds him, man. That deep water, that, that deep, you got to set where it's deep. Yeah. I needed to move to deeper water to keep up with Dad. Dad started in deep water right off the beginning. And big alligators like deep water. Big alligators live in deep water. Keep it 
Look, look the line. Look the line right there. It's deep right here. What you got, Bubba? Feels big. Ooh. It's frayed up a little bit. You see this? No. Look at the head on that dude. Oh right. my God! That's our big one for the day. Oh yeah. So I don't know if the line will hold it. He's gonna pop the line. Oh, oh no 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 no! In Point Alahash, Joey and Zach are in a knockdown dragout brawl with the biggest gator of the day. Oh no 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 no! Oh my God! Oh, watch it, Zach. Don't get your feet in it. We almost lost it. It's a big boy right there. Oh, my God. Oh, we just don't want to lose him. He's a giant. Uh-huh. It's coming up. Smile for me, big boy. That is that, the winner of the day. That's an alligator right here, fellas. Yeah. Hmm? This is gonna be tough. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh no! Oh. Ah, I got him. I got him. You got it? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Right here. Let's just try to get his head over. Yeah. Let me grab a front leg. Ready? One. Two. <laughs> Oh, no, Pa. You got him. Yeah, boy. You got him. You got him, Pa. Uh-huh. Roll him. Got That's him. roll him. Right here. That's roll him. Uh -huh. he, wanna, he don't want to act right? Yeah, we got him. We got him. We got him. He don't want to act right? He's in. He's in. We're going to roll him. Dude, that's a dinosaur. Listen to this drum. <laughs> what? My nephew was talking at Yaya. He better come. They better be coming. He's a really big alligator. I'm hoping that he's going to be the biggest alligator today. But dealing with Dad and Dorian, I'm not quite sure. They, they got some tricks up their sleeves, and I know they're catching. Our early morning sets that we run early, we catch eights and nine. But the last stuff that we set is in deep water, and it just produced big alligators. 26 miles away, after a slow start, Ronnie and Ashley are running their final garfish baited line. Is that down? Yeah. Oh, I oh, see the gator yeah. right there. One of them garfish lines. Man, that's really working. Bait, che -che. That's working good. He's trying to go hide in the grass, Che Che. Let me see what this dude looks like, Che Che. Talk to me. You better get the gun, girl. This is a hammer, girl. I got it. Oh, Che, make sure it's loaded. Because this is a big boy. He's 10 foot. Oh, my God, Ryan. Watch it, Che. Hold on. I don't know how good he's looked, Che. Whoa! Oh, he's wrapping uh -oh. up. Come on back here and get that gun ready. Come on, big boy. Mother Humper, pull me in the water. Oh, he's wrapping up again. As soon as you get a shot, you better pop him. He's going to snap the line. I got a foot left. What a gator, huh? Yeah. Good job, baby. <gasps> That's a good one there, Papa. Yes, indeed. You know what, eh? Let me hold it like yes, that. Yes, you can pull that, and I'm going to grab his leg. OK, you ready? One, two, three. There we go, my baby. There we go. Hold on. One more time. Oh, uh, yeah. This 11-foot, 500-pound monster has the team riding high as they tag their final gator of the day. 
really better than I thought it was going to. I knew you said they were just eating gar around here, but man. I told you that gar fish bait's gonna work. We heading in, I feel so freaking good right now. I can't believe that we conquered and overcame the problem and we heading to the house with a boatload of gators. Back on land, the Edgar clan has regrouped. Now the time has come to determine a winner in the family's three-pronged bet. OK, nephew, what y'all got? <laughs> Loaded. I don't see nothing big. I, I, they there? They on the bottom. I don't, I don't see a very big pile in there. I got a longer boat than you. <laughs> no, but before we go too far, uh -huh. what time did y'all kill the first one? We left the ramp at 7.30. In five minutes, I was to my first line, and he was done. Y'all got us beat. Y'all got us beat. The first. You good with that, nephew? Yeah. I don't, don't know, Don't Pop. let the top They fool. got a. Well, how many this you got? Camera. We can't. Too many to count. Too many to yeah. count. It looks 20. like, they it look like you got at least 20. We don't have 20. Mm -hmm. I feel confident we got you on the most. Check uh -huh. it out. Look. All right. What's your biggest? My biggest is pretty. Uh, hey, hey. Come on. I got, let me see what you're feeding now. Come on. Look right here. Yeah. I got an 11. Eight. Look at that. How about that for the biggest? But no, school? I'll give you all credit. Uh, that's bigger than what we You want to measure? You got to eat. No, look at with this. that? I'm good. You I can, can look, look at the head. That's a gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> I feel really good about getting the biggest. I got the title for today. You know, I'm patting myself on the back. Good job. Oh, yeah, y'all got a boo. He, he's bigger than the house. You got a lot of iguanas. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in Florida. Guan is crawling all over your boat. This competition has pushed both of the teams to get a lot of alligators. We've had a good day, and uh, you know, it's all in friendship and love and competition. It's healthy. I've never seen, you it's know, uh, four people moving like us. Yes. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, as a friend coming in to the family, you know, you can really see it. We're glad to have you, buddy, and, and look glad. Good and lucky to have 10. <laughs>